Reduplication in linguistics is a morphological process in which the root or stem of a word, or part of it, or even the whole word is repeated exactly or with a slight change. Reduplication is used in inflections to convey a grammatical function, such as plurality, intensification, etc., and in lexical derivation to create new words. It is often used when a speaker adopts a tone more expressive or figurative than ordinary speech and is also often, but not exclusively, iconic in meaning. Reduplication is found in a wide range of languages and language groups, though its level of linguistic productivity varies. Reduplication is the standard term for this phenomenon in the linguistics literature. Other terms that are occasionally used include cloning, doubling, duplication, repetition, and tautonym when it is used in biological taxonomies, such as bison bison. The origin of this usage of tautonym is uncertain, but it has been suggested that it is of relatively recent derivation. Typological description Form. Reduplication is often described phonologically in one of two different ways, either one, as reduplicated segments, sequences of consonants, vowels, or two, as reduplicated prosodic units, syllables or moras. In addition to phonological description, reduplication often needs to be described morphologically as a reduplication of linguistic constituents, i.e., words, stems, roots. As a result, reduplication is interesting theoretically as it involves the interface between phonology and morphology. The base is the word, or part of the word, that is to be copied. The reduplicated element is called the reduplicant, often abbreviated as red or sometimes just R. In reduplication, the reduplicant is most often repeated only once. However, in some languages, reduplication can occur more than once, resulting in a tripled form, and not a duple as in most reduplication. Triplication is the term for this phenomenon of copying two times. Pingalapesi has both reduplication and triplication. Triplication occurs in other languages, e.g. U, Shipabo, Twi, Mokileze, Min Nan, Hokkien, Stau. Sometimes gemination, i.e. the doubling of consonants or vowels, is considered to be a form of reduplication. The term duplomy has been used, after morphine, to refer to different types of reduplication that have the same meaning. Full and partial reduplication Full reduplication involves a reduplication of the entire word. For example, COM derives reciprocal forms from reflexive forms by total reduplication. Another example is from Musqueam Halkamalam. Dispositional aspect formation. Partial reduplication involves a reduplication of only part of the word. For example, Mershalese forms words meaning to wear X. By reduplicating the last consonant vowel consonant CVC sequence of a base, i.e. base plus CVC. Many languages often use both full and partial reduplication, as in the Motu example below. Reduplicant position Reduplication may be initial, i.e. prefixal, final, i.e. suffixal, or internal, i.e. infixal, e.g. Initial reduplication in AGTA CV prefix Final reduplication in Dakota CCV suffix Internal reduplication in Samoan CV infix Internal reduplication is much less common than the initial and final types Copying direction a reduplicant can copy from either the left edge of a word left to right copying, or from the right edge right to left copying. There is a tendency for prefixing reduplicants to copy left to right and for suffixing reduplicants to copy right to left. Initial LR copying in Oikingan Kunjan, a Pamanyungan language of Australia. Final RL copying in Siriono. Copying from the other direction is possible although less common. Initial RL copying in Tillamook Final LR copying in Chukchi Internal reduplication can also involve copying the beginning or end of the base. In Quileute, the first consonant of the base is copied and inserted after the first vowel of the base. 
Internal LR copying in Quileute. In Timiar, the last consonant of the root is copied and inserted before the medial consonant of the root. Internal RL copying in Timiar, an Austroasiatic language of Malaysia. A rare type of reduplication is found in Semi, an Austroasiatic language of Malaysia. Expressive minor reduplication is formed with an initial reduplicant that copies the first and last segment of the base. Reduplication and other morphological processes. All of the examples above consist of only reduplication. However, reduplication often occurs with other phonological and morphological processes, such as deletion, affixation of non-reduplicating material, etc. For instance, in tz, utujal a new ish adjective form is derived from other words by suffixing the reduplicated first consonant of the base followed by the segment o -kai". This can be written succinctly as ko -kai". Below are some examples. Kaq. Red. Kako Kai. Reddish. Kaq Ko Kai. Qan. Yellow. Qanqo Kai. Yellowish. Q and Qo Kai. Ja. Water. Jajo Kai. Watery. Ja J O Kai. Daily 1985. Somali has a similar suffix that is used in forming the plural of some nouns, a c, where c is the last consonant of the base. To. Ditch. Toa. Ditches. Toip. Ad. Lump of meat. Adad. Lumps of meat. Ad ad. W L. Boy. W Law. Boys. W L A L. Abraham 1964. This combination of reduplication and affixation is commonly referred to as fixed segment reduplication. In Tohono O'odham, initial reduplication also involves gemination of the first consonant in the distributive plural and in repetitive verbs. Now you. Ox. Nano you. Ox distributive. No n now you. Hodai. Rock. Ho hodai. Rock distributive. Ho h hodai. Cow. Dig out of ground, unitative. Kakao. Dig out of ground, repetitive. Ko k cow. Hit unitative. Hit repetitive. Haugen forthcoming, sometimes gemination can be analyzed as a type of reduplication. Phonological processes, environment, and reduplicant base relations. Overapplication, underapplication, backcopying, a putative phenomenon of overapplication in the reduplicant of a process triggered by the reduplicant in the base. Base reduplicant. Identity. OT terminology, BR faithfulness. Tonal transfer, non-transfer. Function and meaning. In the Malayo-Polynesian family, reduplication is used to form plurals, among many other functions. Malay Ruma. House. Ruma Ruma. Houses. In pre-1972 Indonesian and Malay orthography, two was shorthand for the reduplication that forms plurals, orang. Person. Orang orang or orang two. People. This orthography has resurfaced widely in text messaging and other forms of electronic communication. The Nama language uses reduplication to increase the force of a verb, go. Look. Go go. Examine with attention. Chinese also uses reduplication, ren ren for person, ren ren renuren for everybody. Japanese does it too, shi toki, time, tokidoki shi, sometimes, from time to time. Both languages can use a special written iteration marks to indicate reduplication, although in Chinese the iteration mark is no longer used in standard writing and is often found only in calligraphy. Indo-European languages formerly used reduplication to form a number of verb forms, especially in the preterite or perfect. 
In the older Indo-European languages, many such verbs survive. Spondeo, spapondi, Latin. I vow, I vowed. Lipo laloipa Greek. I leave, I left. Deorkamai daydorka Greek. I see, I saw. These Greek examples exhibit oblaut as well as reduplication. Hytan, high height, Gothic. To name, I named. Those forms do not survive in modern English but existed in its parent Germanic languages. Many verbs in the Indo-European languages exhibit reduplication in the present stem, rather than the perfect stem, often with a different vowel from that used for the perfect, Latin gigno, genui. I beget, I begat. And Greek tithemi, adika tathika I place, I placed, I have placed. Other Indo-European verbs used reduplication as a derivational process, compare Latin sto. I stand. And sisto. I remain. All of those Indo-European inherited reduplicating forms are subject to reduction by other phonological laws. Reduplication can be used to refer to the most prototypical instance of a word's meaning. In such a case, it is called contrastive focus reduplication. Finnish colloquial speech uses the process. Nouns can be reduplicated to indicate genuinity, completeness, originality and being uncomplicated, as opposed to being fake, incomplete, complicated or fussy. It can be thought as compound word formation. For example, swan jataloa ya karkia, sekatitisti ruokaruaka. I ate ice cream and candy, and of course food food. Here, food food is contrasted to junk food. One may say, en allit island kolusa, koska olin kipia, sii's kipikapea. I wasn't at school yesterday because I was sick. Sick sick, that is. That means that one was actually suffering from an illness instead of making up excuses, as usual. Ruoka. Food. Ruoka ruoka. Proper food. As opposed to snacks. Peli. Game. Pelapeli. Complete game. As opposed to a mod. Puhilin. Phone. Puhilin pahilin. Phone for talking. As opposed to a pocket computer. Kawas. Far away. Kawaskawas. Unquestionably far away. Koti. Home. Kotakoti. Home of your parents. As opposed to one's current place of residence, words can be reduplicated with their case morphemes, as in Lomala Lomala, where the adhesive morpheme, LLA, appears twice. While reduplication is intelligible to most Finns, its usage is confined mostly to subgroups of young women and children and possibly fathers of young children when they talk to their children. However, most young women and children do not use reduplication. Reduplication has a somewhat childish connotation and may be perceived as annoying. In Swiss German, the verbs ga or go, go, show, come, le or lo, let, and aafa or aafo, begin, reduplicate when they are combined with other verbs. In some Salishan languages, reduplication can mark both diminution and plurality, with one process being applied to each end of the word, as in the following example from Shuswap. Note that the transcriprion is not comparable to the IPA, but the reduplication of both initial and final portions of the root is clear, soak, em, and knife. Reduplicated as sook, sook, emin, mian, plural small knives. Haberlin 1918-159. Reduplication has been found to be a major part of Salish languages. Reduplicative babbling in child language acquisition During the period 25 to 50 weeks after birth, all typically developing infants go through a stage of reduplicated or canonical babbling Stark 198, Oyer, 1980. Canonical babbling is characterized by repetition of identical or nearly identical consonant-vowel combinations, such as nanana or dididididi. It appears as a progression of language development as infants experiment with their vocal apparatus and home and on the sounds used in their native language. 
Canonical, reduplicated babbling also appears at a time when general rhythmic behavior, such as rhythmic hand movements and rhythmic kicking, appear. Canonical babbling is distinguished from earlier syllabic and vocal play, which has less structure. Examples Indo-European Proto-Indo-European The Proto-Indo-European language used partial reduplication of a consonant and e in many stative aspect verb forms. The perfect or preterite past tense of some ancient Greek, Gothic, and Latin verbs preserves this reduplication. Ancient Greek lio luo, I free, versus lalika liluka, I have freed. Gothic hald, I hold, versus highhold, hahold, I, he held. Latin curro, I run, versus kukuri, I ran, or have run. Old Norse row. I row. Versus rara, rora. I rode. Proto-Indo-European also used reduplication for imperfective aspect. Ancient Greek preserves this reduplication in the present tense of some verbs. Usually, but not always, this is reduplication of a consonant and I, and contrasts with e reduplication in the perfect. Ditto me, ditto me. I give. Present. Dadoka dadoka. I have given. Perfect. Asterisk says do says do hizo hizo. I set. Present. Asterisk says to my says to my ezo my ezo my. I sit down. Present. From sd. Zero grade of root in asterisk sedos ados ados. Seat. Abode. Reduplication in nouns was rare, the best example being Proto-Indo-European asterisk ke acute klos. Wheel. Cf. Lithuanian kaklas. Neck. Sanskrit kakra. Wheel. Which doubled asterisk klo cf. Old Prussian kelon. Wheel. Welsh pel. Ball. Itself likely a deverbative of asterisk kelh. To turn. English English has several types of reduplication, ranging from informal expressive vocabulary, the first four forms below, to grammatically meaningful forms, the last two below. Rhyming reduplication, hokey pokey, razzle dazzle, super duper, boogie woogie, teeny weeny, walkie talky, hoity toity, wingding, ragtag, easy peasy, hurdy gurdy. Exact reduplications, baby talk like, bye bye, choo choo, night night, no no, pee pee, poo poo. In South African English, now now, means, somewhat later, whereas an ordinary, now, generally means, immediately, but can also be used to mean, somewhat later, depending on the tone of speech. Oblaut reduplications, chit chat, hip hop, ding dong, jibber jabber, kitty cat, nick knack, pitter patter, splish splash, zig zag, flim flam, wibble wobble. In oblaut reduplications, the first vowel is almost always a high vowel and the reduplicated oblaut variant of the vowel is a low vowel. SHM reduplication can be used with most any word, e.g., baby schmaby, cancer schmancer, and fancy schmancy. This process is a feature of American English from Yiddish, starting among the American Jews of New York City, then the New York dialect and then the whole country, only the last of the above types is productive, meaning that examples of the first three are fixed forms and new forms are not easily accepted. Comparative reduplication, in the sentence, John's apple looked redder and redder. The reduplication of the comparative indicates that the comparative is becoming more true over time, meaning roughly. John's apple looked progressively redder as time went on. In particular, this construction does not mean that John's apple is redder than some other apple, which would be a possible interpretation in the absence of reduplication, e.g. and John's apple looked redder. With reduplication, the comparison is of the object being compared to itself over time. Comparative reduplication always combines the reduplicated comparative with and 
Quote, dot, this construction is common in speech and is used even in formal speech settings, but it is less common in formal written texts. Although English has simple constructs with similar meanings, such as John's apple looked ever redder. These simpler constructs are rarely used in comparison with the reduplicative form. Comparative reduplication is fully productive and clearly changes the meaning of any comparative to a temporal one, despite the absence of any time-related words in the construction. For example, the temporal meaning of the frug seemed wuggier and wuggier is clear, despite not knowing what a frug is or what wugginess is, we know that the apparent wugginess of the frug was increasing over time, as indicated by the reduplication of the comparative. Wuggier. Contrastive focus reduplication. Exact reduplication can be used with contrastive focus, generally where the first noun is stressed, to indicate a literal, as opposed to figurative, example of a noun, or perhaps a sort of platonic ideal of the noun, as in, is that carrot cheesecake or carrot cake cake? This is similar to the Finnish use mentioned above. Furthermore, it is used to contrast real or pure things against imitations or less pure forms. For example, at a coffee shop one may be asked, do you want soy milk? And respond, no, I want milk milk. This gives the idea that they want real milk. The double copula is in some cases a type of reduplication, which may be regarded as non-standard or incorrect. More can be learned about English reduplication in Toon, 1963, Cooper and Ross, 1975, and Nevins and Vaux, 2003. Latin in addition to having some reduplicated presents and perfects, Latin uses reduplication for some indefinite relative pronouns, such as quisk, whoever, and ubibi, wherever. Latin jingles. There are also several complete two-word sentences such as, commum commum. I shall tidy my hair, Dutch while not common in Dutch, reduplication does exist. Most, but not all, e.g., pipi, blauba, laden, tai tai gingerbread, reduplications in Dutch are loanwords, e.g., koskos, bonbon, ik hoort het, via via, or imitative, e.g., tam tam, tom tom. Another example is a former safe sex campaign slogan in Flanders, eerst bla bla, dan boem boem, first talk, then have sex, lit. First bla bla, then boom boom. In Dutch the verb gone, to go, can be used as an auxiliary verb, which can lead to a triplication, we gone eens, gone gone, we are going to get going. The use of gone as an auxiliary verb with itself is considered incorrect, but is commonly used in Flanders. Numerous examples of reduplication in Dutch, and other languages, are discussed by Daniels, 2000. Afrikaans Afrikaans makes use of reduplication to emphasize the meaning of the word repeated and to denote a plural or event happening in more than one place. For example, crap means to scratch oneself, while crap 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 means to scratch oneself vigorously, whereas dit het plek plek jereen means it rained here and there. Reduplication in Afrikaans has been described extensively in the literature, see for example Botha, 1988, Van Heistein, 2004, and Van Heistein and Wissing, 2007. Further examples of this include. Kos. To dodge being reduplicated in the sentence. Pete Hardloop Kos Kos Wag. Pete is running away while constantly dodging, cringing. Suckle. To struggle, becoming. Suckle Suckle. Making slow progress, struggling on, and kirang to cheat becoming kirang kirang to indicate being cheated on repeatedly. Romance In Italian reduplication was used both to create new words or word associations, tran tran, via via, leka leka, and to intensify the meaning, piano piano, very slowly. Common in lingua franca, particularly but not exclusively for onomatopoeic action descriptions. Spagnoli veneer Less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 boom boom Andar, English veneer Less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 boom boom bezif Andar, Francais veneer. Da true true true. Chapper. The Spaniards came cannonaded and left. The English came cannonaded heavily and left. The French came trumpeted on bugles and captured it. 
Common uses for reduplication in French are the creation of hypocoristics for names, whereby Louise becomes Lulu, and Zinedine Zidane becomes Zizo, and in many nursery words, like Dada, Porsi, versus Cheval, Porse, Tati, Anti, versus Taunt, Ant, or Tauntin, Unki, versus Ankla, Uncle. In Romanian and Catalan, reduplication is not uncommon and it has been used for both the creation of new words including many from onomatopoeia and expressions, for example, Romanian, mormai, tertor, dardai, expressions talms balmes, harsia parsia, tertia bercia, tac pac, calia valea, hodorong tronc. Catalan, balandrum balandrum, balaga balaga, banzam banzam, barliqui barloqui, baria bareja, bitolo bitolo, bub bub, bum bum, but but, catric catrac, cloc cloc, cloc pew, core corrents, denaidi niogi, farigo farago, f list flast, fru fru, gara gara, gilok gilok, gori gori, larry larry, nap buff, ning nong, ning ning, na non, nyam nyam, nyau nyau, nyec -N NYEC, NYEU, NYEU, NYIC, NYIC, Naigo, Naigo, Naigi, Nayogi, Pasa, Pasa, Pengim, Penjum, Pif, PAF, Ping, Pong, Pew, Pew, Poti, Poti, Rao, Rao, Ringo, Rango, Rum, Rum, TAF, TAF, Tam, Tam, Tau, Tau, Tic, Tac, Tal, La, Tal, La, Trick, Track, Trip, Trap, Tris, Tross, VIU, VIU, Zana, Zana, Zao, Zao, Zarek, Zarek, XIM, XIM, Zeno, Zana, XIP, Zap, Shu, Shu, XUP, XUP, Zig, Zag, Ziga, Zaga, Zim, Zam, Zing, Zing, Zub, Zub, Zoom, Zoom. In colloquial Mexican Spanish, it is common to use reduplicated adverbs such as luego, luego, after, after, meaning immediately, or casi, casi, almost, almost, which intensifies the meaning of almost. Slavic languages the reduplication in the Russian language serves for various kinds of intensifying of the meaning and exists in several forms, a hyphenated or repeated word either exact or inflected reduplication, and forms similar to SHM reduplication. Celtic languages Reduplication is a common feature of Irish and includes the examples rira, ruel buel both meaning commotion and fight fuet meaning intertwined Persian Reduplication is a very common practice in Persian, to the extent that there are jokes about it. Mainly due to the mixed nature of the Persian language, most of the reduplication comes in the form of a phrase consisting of a Persian word va Persian and, and an Arabic word, like tagder magder Tikturkter. Reduplication is particularly common in the city of Shiraz in southwestern Iran. One can further categorize the reduplicative words into true and quasi ones. In true reduplicative words, both words are actually real words and have meaning in the language in which it is used. In quasi reduplicative words, at least one of the words does not have a meaning. Some examples of true reduplicative words in Persian are Zerd o pert. Kertwipiart. Odds and ends. Zerd o pert. Krutupiart. Nonsense. Karend o parent. Krind w print. Nonsense. Ab o tab. Ab tab, much detail. Among the quasi reduplicative words are Zan o man, Zen w m n, wife, Dava mava, Dwamwa, argument, Tala mala, Talamla, jewelry, and Raxt o paxt equals items of clothing. Reduplication in Persian is sometimes a mockery of words with non-Persian origins. Indo-Aryan and Dravidian languages Typically all Indo-Aryan languages, like Hindi, Punjabi, Gujarati and Bengali use partial or echoic reduplication in some form or the other. It is usually used to sound casual, or in a suggestive manner. 
it is often used to mean etc. For example, in Hindi, chai shai, chai means tea, while this phrase means tea or any other supplementary drink or tea along with snacks. Quite common in casual conversations are a few more examples like shopping whopping, kana wana. Reduplication is also used in Dravidian languages like Telugu for the same purpose. South Asian languages are also rich in other forms of reduplication, morphological expressives, lexical distributives, and phrasal aspectual. Morphological, manata hura hura detuna yet mana ti hur hur dot, un yet mind in longing choking comes. Yearning desire floods into my heart. Marathi Lexical. Each each boy take one one chair. Indian English Phrasal, pilavadu natastu natastu padi poyadu pilavadu natastu natastu padi poyadu Child walking walking fall went. The child fell down while walking. Telugu reduplication also occurs in the 3th gana verb class of the Sanskrit language, bibeti. He fears. Bibharti. He bears. Juhati. He offers. Dadati. He gives. Even though the general idea is to reduplicate the verb root as a prefix, several sandy rules change the final outcome. Nepalese. A number of Nepalese nouns are formed by reduplication. As in other languages, the meaning is not that of a true plural, but collectives that refer to a set of the same or related objects, often in a particular situation. For example, Rangi Chani describes an object that is extremely or vividly colorful, like a crazy mix of colors and or patterns, perhaps dizzying to the eye. The phrase, Hina Mina, means, scattered. Like a large collection of objects spilled, or scampering, as in small animals, in all different directions. The basic Nepalese word for food, kana, becomes, kana sana, to refer to the broad generality of anything served at a meal. Likewise, chia, or tea, conventionally made with milk and sugar, becomes, chia sha. Tea and snacks, such as biscuits or cookies. Please note these examples of Nepalese words are spelled with a simplified Latin transliteration only, not as exact spellings. Turkish In Turkish, there are two kinds of reduplication. A word can be reduplicated while replacing the initial consonants, not being m, and possibly missing, with m. The effect is that the meaning of the original word is broadened. For example, tabak means plates, and tabak mabak then means plates, dishes and such. This can be applied not only to nouns but to all kinds of words, as in yesel mesel meaning green, greenish, whatever. Although not used in formal written Turkish, it is a completely standard and fully accepted construction. A word can be reduplicated totally, giving a related but different meaning or used for emphasizing. For example, zaman zaman, time time, meaning occasionally, uzan uzan, long long, meaning very long or many things long. This type is used also in formal Turkish, especially in literature. Uralic Finnish As described earlier, contrastive lexical reduplication is used in colloquial Finnish speech. Another type of reduplication occurs in standard Finnish, reduplication as an intensifier. Common examples of this include suyurinsyori, big gen big nam, literally, big of big ness, pianinpini, small gen small nam, literally, small of small, ness, hainanhieno, fine gen fine nam, the last example, literally, fine of fine, ness, roughly means, very fine. Other adjectives may sometimes be duplicated as well, where a superlative is too strong an expression, somewhat similarly to Slavic languages. This construction can be ambiguous because of its use of a genitive noun followed by a nominative noun, which is not unique to reduplication. For instance the reduplicated form suyurinsuori jalka, big foot of bigness, sounds the same as suyurinsuori jalka, big foot of someone big. Hungarian 
reduplication is usually rhyming, it can add emphasis. Peachy. Tiny 2 ici peachy, very tiny, and it can modify meaning. Neha neha. Seldom seldom. Seldom but repeatedly. Are ara. This way that way. Meaning movement without a definite direction. Ezt. This that. Meaning. All sort of things. Reduplication often evokes a sense of playfulness and it's quite common when talking to small children. Bantu languages Reduplication is a common phenomenon in Bantu languages and is usually used to form a frequentive verb or for emphasis. Swahili piga. To strike. Pigapiga. To strike repeatedly. Ganda okukuba, oku cuba. To strike. Okukubakuba, oku cuba cuba. To strike repeatedly, to batter. Chewa tambalala. To stretch one's legs. Tambalala tambalala to stretch one's legs. Repeatedly popular names that have reduplication include Bafana Bafana, Chipolopolo. Eric Jemba Jemba Lualua Ingarongaro Semitic Semitic languages frequently reduplicate consonants, though often not the vowels that appear next to the consonants in some verb form. This can take the shape of reduplicating the antepenultimate consonant, usually the second of three, the last of two consonants, or the last two consonants. Hebrew. In the Hebrew, reduplication is used in nouns and adjectives. For stress, as in limit limit, l'aht l'aht, where the adverb limit, slowly, is duplicated to mean very slowly. In a new slang expression, geber geber gever gever, the noun geber, man, is duplicated to mean a manly man, a man among man. Meaning each and every, one by one, as in yaum yaum, yam yam, where the noun yaum, day, is duplicated to every day, day in day out, day by day. Some nouns and adjectives can also be made into diminutives by reduplication of the last two consonants by consonantal reduplication, e.g. Kaibi Kalev, dog Klaibi Klavla, puppy Twelve Chattel, cat Petal chattelchul, kitten. Pound and laven, white. Pound and lavanban, whitish. Cutin katan, small. Cutin k tantan, tiny reduplication in Hebrew is also productive for the creation of verbs by reduplicating the root or part of it, e.g. Dal. Poor, spare. Greater than dilil. To dilute. But also dildal. To impoverish, to weaken. Nad. To move, to nod. Greater than nadad. To wander. But also nind. To swing, to nag. Amharic. In Amharic, verb roots can be reduplicated three different ways. These can result in verbs, nouns, or adjectives, which are often derived from verbs. From the root sbr. Break. Antepenultimate reduplication produces to sababara. It was shattered. And biconsonantal reduplication produces tasbarabara. It was shattered repeatedly. And sabarbari. A shard, a shattered piece. From the root khb. Pile stones into a wall. Since the second radical is not fully specified, what some call hollow. The antepenultimate reduplication process reduplicates the k inserting the vowel a along with the consonant as a placeholder for the hollow consonant, which is by some criteria antepenultimate, and produces akakaba. Pile stones repeatedly. Sino-Tibetan Burmese In Burmese, reduplication is used in verbs and adjectives to form adverbs. Many Burmese words, especially adjectives such as beautiful, l, a, pa, which consist of two syllables when reduplicated, each syllable is reduplicated separately, when reduplicated beautifully, 
l f l f pa pa become adverbs. This is also true of many Burmese verbs, which become adverbs when reduplicated. Some nouns are also reduplicated to indicate plurality. For instance, p means country, but when reduplicated to p, it means many countries, as in international. Another example is which means kinds, but the reduplicated form means multiple kinds. A few measure words can also be reduplicated to indicate one or the other. P measure word for people, someone. P measure word for things, something. Chinese. Adjective reduplication is common in standard Chinese, typically denoting emphasis, less acute degree of the quality described, or an attempt at more indirect speech, xiao xiao de xiao xiao de, small, tiny, chow chow de cho cho de, smelly. Reduplication can also reflect a cute juvenile or informal register, in this respect, it can be compared to the English diminutive ending y or i.e. tiny, smelly, go, doggy, etc. In the case of adjectives composed of two characters, morphemes, generally each of the two characters is reduplicated separately, piao lang piao liang, beautiful, reduplicates as piao piao liang liang piao piao liang liang. Verb reduplication is also common in standard Chinese, conveying the meaning of informal and temporary character of the action. It is often used in imperative expressions, in which it lessens the degree of imperativity, zuo 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 zuo, sit for a while, deng 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 deng, wait for a while. Compound verbs are reduplicated as a whole word, shu zixia shi shu shi shu shi, rest, for a while. This can be analyzed as an instance of omission of yi, originally, e.g. Zuo yi zuo, or deng yi deng, or yi sha, originally, e.g. zuo yi sha. Noun reduplication, though nearly absent in standard Chinese, is found in the southwestern dialect of Mandarin. For instance, in Sichuan Mandarin, bao 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 handbag is used whereas Beijing use bei or bao air. One notable exception is the colloquial use of bao 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 by non Sichuanese speakers to denote a perceived fancy, attractive, or cute purse, somewhat equivalent to the English baggy. However, there are few nouns that can be reduplicated in standard Chinese, and reduplication denotes generalization and uniformity, ren ren, human being, and renuren ren ren, everybody, in general, in common, jia jia hu hu jia jia hu hu, every household, uniformly, in the latter jia and hu additionally duplicate the meaning of household, which is a common way of creating compound words in Chinese. Japanese a small number of native Japanese nouns have collective forms produced by reduplication, possibly with rendaku, such as rent hitobito, people, hb is rendaku, these are written with the iteration mark. To indicate duplication, this formation is not productive and is limited to a small set of nouns. Similarly to standard Chinese, the meaning is not that of a true plural, but collectives that refer to a large, given set of the same object, for example, the formal English equivalent of rent would be people, collective, rather than persons, plural individuals. Japanese also contains a large number of mimetic words formed by reduplication of a syllable. These words include not only onomatopoeia, but also words intended to invoke non-auditory senses or psychological states, such as kira 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 kira, sparkling or shining. By one count, approximately 43% of Japanese mimetic words are formed by full reduplication, and many others are formed by partial reduplication, as in gazasa ga sa sa, rustling, compare English. Aha ha ha. Austroasiatic. Vietnamese Words called tu lay are found abundantly in Vietnamese. They are formed by repeating a part of a word to form new words, altering the meaning of the original word. Its effect is to sometimes either increase or decrease the intensity of the adjective, or to generalize a word. 
s meaning, it is often used as a literary device like alliteration in poetry and other compositions but is also prevalent in everyday speech. In some cases, the word s tone may be reduplicated in addition to an initial or final sound, see tone sandy. Examples of reduplication increasing intensity, kai kai tro, final lr plus tone, to point to point about do do diang, final lr, to hurt to hurt horribly ko ko con, final lr, difficult severely difficult man man me, final lr, strong very strong ni ni ni, initial full, excluding tone, gently as gently as possible ruck ruck ro, final lr, flaring blazing examples of reduplication decreasing intensity, no no no, initial full, excluding tone, small somewhat small do 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 initial full excluding tone red somewhat red sun 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 full blue green somewhat blue green shin 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 full pretty cute examples of generalization do do don final lr painful pain and suffering hawk hawk han final lr to study something to study in general long long leo final lr plus tone watery loose insecure may may mock final lr plus tone machine machinery nha nh nha nh nen final lr rapid Rapid nimble examples of blunt sounds or physical conditions, loang zoang, rl plus tone, sound of glass breaking to pieces or metallic objects falling to the ground hot high hot ho hot high or hot ha hot high, compound, hard gasps in extreme hurry, in panic, panic stricken loop duck, rl, the sound of hard, blunt, and likely wooden, objects hitting against each other disagreements and conflicts inside a group or an organization examples of emphasis without a change in meaning, kum num kum na kum num, compound, to Cower vo van vo va vo van compound silly bay bay ba initial l r plus tone objectionable noi bay noi bay noi ba verb phrase to say vulgarities in colloquial speech almost any arbitrary word can be reduplicated to express a dismissive attitude fim fim feo final l r movie movies and stuff as seen above disyllabic words undergo a complex transformation. Khmer Khmer uses reduplication for several purposes, including emphasis and pluralization. The Khmer script includes a reduplication sign, indicating that the word or phrase preceding it is to be pronounced twice. Reduplication in Khmer, like many non-Khmer languages, can express complex thoughts. Khmer also uses a form of reduplication known as synonym compounding, in which two phonologically distinct words with similar or identical meanings are combined, either to form the same term or to form a new term altogether. Austronesian The wide use of reduplication is certainly one of the most prominent grammatical features of Malay, as well as of other Southeast Asian and Austronesian languages. Malay, Indonesian and Malaysian In Malay language, reduplication is a very productive process. It is used for expression of various grammatical functions, such as verbal aspect, and it is part in a number of complex morphological models. Simple reduplication of nouns and pronouns can express at least three meanings. Diversity or non-exhaustive plurality. Burring burring itu juga dekspor k luar negri equals. All those birds are also exported out of the country. Conceptual similarity. Langit langit. Ceiling, palate, etc. Langit. Sky. Jari jari. Spoke, barb, radius, etc. Jari. Finger, etc. Pragmatic accentuation. Saya bukan anak anak lagi. I am not a child anymore. Anak equals child. Reduplication of an adjective can express different things. Adverbialization, jangan baikara karas karas. Don't speak loudly. Karas. Hard. Plurality of the corresponding noun, rumah di sini besar besar. The houses here are big. Besar. Big. Reduplication of a verb can express various things. 
Simple reduplication Pragmatic accentuation, Kanapa orang tita dating dating? Equals. Why aren't people coming? Reduplication with me prefixation, depending on the position of the prefix me. Repetition or continuation of the action, orang itu memukul mukul ananiya. That man continuously beat his child. Reciprocity, kejua orang itu pukul memukul equals. Those two men would beat each other. Notice that in the first case, the nasalization of the initial consonant, whereby p becomes per meter, is repeated, while in the second case, it only applies in the repeated word. Tagalog In Tagalog, an Austronesian language spoken in the Philippines, upon which the national language, Filipino, is based, reduplication is employed productively in multiple parts of speech. Reduplication of the root, prefix or infix is employed to convey different grammatical aspects in verbs. In mag verbs, reduplication of the root after the prefix mag or nag changes the verb from the infinitive form, or perfective aspect, respectively, to the contemplated or imperfective aspect. Thus, magluto inf, actor trigger cook, to cook, or Cook. Imperative. Nagluto actor trigger cook. Cooked. Nagluluto actor trigger reduplication cook. Cook. As in. I cook all the time, or. Is, was cooking. Magluluto inf, actor trigger rdplc cook, contemplated. Will cook. For ergative verbs, frequently referred to as. Object focus. Verbs reduplication of part the infix and the stem occur. Lutuan cook inf, object trigger cook. To cook. Naluto object trigger infix cook perf cook. Cooked. Niluluto object trigger infix reduplication cook. Cook. Is, was cooking. Lulutuan rdp cook object trigger. Will cook. Adjectives and adverbs employ morphological reduplication for many different reasons such as plurality agreement when the adjective modifies a plural noun, intensification of the adjective or adverb, and sometimes because the prefix forces the adjective to have a reduplicated stem. Agreement, optional, plurality, and agreement with a plural noun, is entirely optional in Tagalog e.g. a plural noun does not have to have a plural article marking it. Ang magangdang puno. The beautiful tree. Ang mga magagangdang puno. The beautiful trees. The entire adjective is repeated for intensification of adjectives or adverbs. Magangdang maganda ang kabaya. The horse is very pretty. The complete superlative prefix pagka demands reduplication of the first syllable of the adjective stem. Ang pagkagagangdang puno. The most beautiful tree, and there are none more beautiful anywhere. Reduplication of nouns happens in Tagalog, but is far less productive, and more sporadic. Examples of such nouns formed by reduplication are. Hollow hollow. Ice cream. Lit. Mix mix. And. Tago tago. Refugee or even illegal immigrant. Lit. Quote. Latent latent. Tetum. In tetum, reduplication is used to turn adjectives into superlatives. Pingalapesi. Pingalapesi is a Micronesian language spoken on the Pingalap Atoll and on two of the eastern Caroline Islands, called the High Island of Pohnpei. Pingalapesi utilizes both duplication and triplication of a verb or part of a verb to express that something is happening for certain duration of time. No reduplication means that something happens. A reduplicated verb means that something is happening, and a triplication means that something is still happening. For example, sang means to cry in Pingalapesi. When reduplicated and triplicated, the duration of this verb is changed. Sang, cries. Sang, sang, is crying. 
sang sang sang, is still crying you languages employ triplication in their language. In Micronesia, Pingalapesi is one of only two languages that uses triplication, the other being Mokilese. Reduplication and triplication are not to be confused with tense however. In order to make a phrase past, present, or future tense, a temporal phrase must be used. Maori the Maori language New Zealand, uses reduplication in a number of ways. Reduplication can convey a simple plural meaning, for instance wahini, woman, wahine, women, tangata, person, tongata, people. Biggs calls this infixed reduplication. It occurs in a small subset of people, words in most Polynesian languages. Reduplication can convey emphasis or repetition, for example mate, die, mit mate, die in numbers, and de emphasis, for example wira, hot, and wiruwira, warm. Reduplication can also extend the meaning of a word, for instance paki, pat, becomes papaki, slap or clap once, and paki paki, applaud, chemo, blink becomes kikimo. Close eyes firmly. RAPA RAPA is the French Polynesian language of the island of RAPA ITI. In terms of reduplication, the indigenous language known as Old RAPA uses reduplication consistent to other Polynesian languages. Reduplication of Old RAPA occurs in four ways, full, rightward, leftward, and medial. Full and rightward are generally more frequently used as opposed to the leftward and medial. Leftward and medial only occur as CV reduplication and partial leftward and medial usually denote emphasis. Example of reduplication forms For the RAPA language the implementation of reduplication has specific implications. The most evident of these are known as iterative, intensification, specification, diminutive, metaphorical, nominalizing, and adjectival. Iterative Naku Come, go Nakanaku Pass by frequently Apuni Hide Apunipuni Hide and seek Intensification Mare Cough Mare mare Cough forcefully Roa Much Roroa Very much Maki. Sick. Makamaki. Really sick. Specification. Kini. To pinch. Kanikini. Pinch skin. Diminutive. Paki. Slap, strike. Paki paki. Clap. Kati. Bite. Kati kati. Nibble. Metaphorical, typically comparing an animal action with a human action. Kappa. Mime with hands. Kappa kappa. Flap wings, a bird. Makuru. Detach oneself. Makurukuru. Shed or molt. Tai. Yell. Tai tai. Chirp, a bird. Nominalizing. Para. Finished. Para para. Leftovers. Panga. A. Divide. Panaga. Anga. A. A break, a divide adjectival. Repo. Dirt, earth. Reporepo. Dirty. Pake. Sun. Pakepake. Shining, bright. Wavulu awa. Reduplication is not a productive noun derivation process in Wavulu Awa as it is in other Austronesian languages. Some nouns exhibit reduplication, though they are considered to be fossilized. Verb roots can undergo whole or partial reduplication to mark aspect. Actions that are continuous are indicated by a reduplicated initial syllable. A whole reduplication can also be used to indicate imperfective aspect. Roni. To hurry. Ruroni. Hurrying. Ruwani. Good. 
Rarawani. Good. Continuous. Where. Talk. Where where. Talked. Durative, the onomatopoeia in Wuvulu language also uses reduplication to describe the sound. These onomatopoeic words can be used as alienable nouns. Ba or Baba is a word for the sound of knocking. Mortlockies The Mortlockies language is a Micronesian language spoken primarily on the Mortlock Islands. In the Mortlockies language, reduplication is used to show a habitual or imperfective aspect. For example, jayayay means to use something, while the word jjij means to use something habitually or repeatedly. Reduplication is also used in the Mortlockies language to show extremity or extreme measures. One example of this can be seen in eem alt, which means hate him, her, or it. To mean Really hate him, her, or it. The phrase changes to e tilde mw alt tilde mw alt. Australian Aboriginal languages Reduplication is common in many Australian place names due to their Aboriginal origins. Some examples include Taramara, Parramatta, Wulumooloo. In the language of the Wiradjuri people of southeastern Australia, plurals are formed by doubling a word, hence, Wagga, meaning crow becomes Wagga Wagga meaning, place of many crows. This occurs in other place names deriving from the Wiradjuri language including Gumli Gumli, Grong Grong and Book Book. See also Idiophone Augment Amradita Language acquisition Siamese twins Linguistics Syntactic doubling Motherese For an example of a language with many types of reduplication see, street. At. Imsit's language hashtag reduplication. Contrastive focus reduplication Repetition, rhetorical device Redundancy, linguistics List of people with reduplicated names Notes Citations References External links Reduplication, Lexicon of Linguistics What is reduplication? SIL Echo Word Reduplication Lexicon Exhaustive list of reduplications in English List of contrastive focus reduplications in English List of English reduplications in Wiktionary Graz Database on Reduplication, GDR, Institute of Linguistics, University of Graz Le Reduplication AM Dans le Rabe Parle à Martin